Let me show you how to set up your instrument definitions for your MIDI instruments. Go to Options and Instruments. On the left here you see my 16 MIDI channels I have available from my Delta 1010. On the right are some standard patch lists or instrument definition files including GS and GM. But when you hit the Define button it takes you to this window where you can import other instrument definition files. I have a Roland JV1010 here that I'd like to set up. So I'll go to Import and I need to browse to Sonar Sample Content. In Sonar 7, that's in My Documents, Cakewalk, Sonar 7, Sample Content. And here you'll see a list of all the common brands of keyboards and modules. I'll select Roland from the list and we'll find all these definitions are available. In each version of Sonar there are more instrument definition files added, but still you might find everything except what you're looking for. If your keyboard or module is newer than the program and it's not listed here, you might be able to find one on the internet or you can make your own if you feel like typing in all the patch names. Here I see the Roland JV1010 in three pieces, the patch, performance and rhythm. I'll take all three. Now these three are included in my list on the left. Now I need to assign my 16 MIDI channels to the instrument definitions that I want. I'll select all 16 and link them to the JV1010 patch. With the exception of channel 10, which would be to the JV1010 rhythm. It's as simple as that. Now when I select one on the left, you see where it links to on the right. We'll click OK. Now let's go look at a MIDI track. I can still use software since, but as an output, now when I select my Delta 1010, it shows up all the banks and the patches from my Roland JV 1010. That makes it really convenient. And by right clicking in the patch, you get the list in this format where you can use the handy search function, where I can search through all the patches of the Roland JV 1010.